Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the effective depth of the beam. It is a very important term mostly used in the design of the beam, column or the slab members. So, what should we know about this effective depth of beam? So, I will explain this with the help of an example so it will be more easy to understand. For example, this is any cross section of the beam. Where here we see the, the width of the beam, let's suppose B, and this is the total height of the beam or depth of the beam represented by H, which is 50 centimeter, is given to us. The stirrups used in this beam are 8 millimeter diameter, this is the diameter of the stirrups, which are the transfer reinforcement, while this is the main bar reinforcement, and the diameter is 16 millimeter. So it is double. The diameter of the stirrups. Now how we can find the effective depth for this cross section. So effective depth is basically the distance from the extreme fiber of the beam cross section to the mid of the reinforcement. So if I define this with the help of here example or figure, so it is the distance from this extreme fiber of the section until to the mid of the reinforcement of the main bar here. This is the mid to the of the reinforcement bar. This distance is known as effective depth and is represented by D. So effective depth for this case we can define it is represented by D and it is equal to the we will subtract this distance, this below distance, this distance from the total height. So we will get our D because it is the distance from this extreme fiber till to the mid of the reinforcement. So we don't need this distance. We don't need this distance from this extreme bottom till to the mid of the reinforcement. So we have to remove or subtract this value. So the effective depth will be equal to the total depth of the beam. Total depth means the height of the beam. We will subtract which values. So here, again effective depth will be equal to the total height or total depth of the beam, which is represented by H, depth, total depth minus, you will subtract this concrete cover, this is the concrete cover, tell to the stirrups, so this is concrete cover, and for beam, let's suppose here we have concrete cover of 2.5 centimeter, concrete cover, minus, then again we will subtract the diameter of this stirrups of this because it is also there so minus diameter of stirrups and then again we will also subtract the half of the diameter of this one so this will be the total subtraction length or height minus the half of the diameter of the main bar So the effective depth will be equal to the, if you put the values, so the total depth is 50 cm here, minus concrete cover, let's suppose the concrete cover for this beam is 2.5 cm, the concrete cover depends on many conditions, but here, let's suppose it is 2.5 cm, minus diameter of the stirrups, so this is the diameter of the stirrups, which is 8 mm, if, if you convert this into centimeters, we will get 0.8 cm, and again subtracting the half of the diameter of the main bar. So this subtracting this half diameter. So the total diameter is 16. So if we divide this by 2, half into 16, so we will get 8. And also this is in millimeter. So we will convert this into centimeter. It will come out to be 0.16 centimeter. So if we subtract, uh, change this into centimeters, it will be 0.16 divide by 2. Now the total effective depth for this beam if we calculate subtract these values from the 50 we got here 45.9 centimeter. So this is the effective depth for this cross section of the beam. So D effective will be equal to the 45.9 centimeter. Should be kept in mind effective depth is always less than the depth of the beam because we subtract the different 
values for example the concrete cover the diameter of the stirrups are the ties in the half of the diameter of the main bar so this is the way how to find the effective depth for the beam hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video